What is up, guys? Welcome to the eighth episode of Hotel Magnate. Thank you guys so much for turning on into another episode. Today is something special, let me tell you. Today, we are about to build ourselves a casino. Now, offline, I did let a little time pass so I could make a little money. I was trying to figure out how much a room, these are three-star rooms, would cost a duplicate. It's around 5K, so it costs around 5K per room. So we're not gonna get any more rooms here. We did build one more. I built out like the kind of outline for two more but uh that's not gonna happen right now i did like kind of paint this room but not like pretty it's actually pretty hideous but this is a big thing i started building out the casino i actually wanted to look kind of nice so like this is the current outline of the casino like it's actually an okay looking facility i obviously want slots on this way i also gave two entrances so you can kind of walk through the idea is that it's going to be an easy to flow kind of casino here we can walk in walk through hit some tables whatever and uh leave so that's the mastermind plan obviously this room isn't decorated these everything still needs help but at least for now we can get the baseline of a casino going get some of the basic things up um slot machines and stuff i can only afford one slot machine and one table so we're gonna have to grow into this i also think we probably should start doing some marketing though i don't know if we're gonna do it this episode or not but i'll let you guys know we will obviously do it together so we will see let me place this uh, this table. Where do I want it? How do I want this to kind of flow? I'm thinking, I feel like I should put a table. Do I want it here? I kind of want a rows of slots on this wall and then like slot, 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 slots and table games. So maybe we have to just put it like here-ish. And then we're obviously gonna need to hire a, uh, gonna go up to tier three here. We need a hired dealer. And then we can see how the finances work. We'll see, I guess. We're going to play it by ear. See if people actually like it. Whoa. That's a lot of people already gambling. What the heck? Are we actually... That's a lot of people gambling. Are we finally going to make money? All the facilities I've built have made us lose money. Though I think the idea behind the facility is it increases customer happiness and then allows us to... Uh, sell more rooms by having a higher rating restaurant, or higher rated hotel, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't make us lose too much money, but who knows. No one's playing anymore. I guess everyone had an urge and then was like, okay, no urge anymore. Which kind of makes sense. If you look at like a person's stats, and this is what I've been kind, kind of trying to figure out, you can see that they have all these things, and one of them is gambling, so like... I'm wondering, like, you have to get it down to green, of course, so if any of these max out, they're obviously angry. Um, so we have to figure out how to, like, bring them all down. Uh, thirst, obviously you have a bar. Relaxation, don't know how to bring that down. Uh, I think a TV and other forms of entertainment does the trick. Hunger, obviously restaurant gambling, gambling. Uh, fun probably gambling and stuff cleanliness that stuff you know i don't know whoa look how many people are at our casino right now we only have six rooms today all right we might have to do a uh why do we only have six rooms sold? I've never had only six rooms sold. Like, that is like nothing. Doesn't really seem to make sense either. I feel like there's a lot of people here. Like, in our place. What's it, Gus? Spend money to make money? I guess we could try and do a... No, I'm nervous. Um, we try to do a campaign real quick. This is 700. Gets us Backpacker. Is this 700 for the full thing or 700 a day? Go hit activate. I don't know. I don't think I've had a single day where we've only had six people, so like I'm kind of frustrated. Just nothing. We're at 10 now. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oh, it tells you like stats and stuff from the campaign, which is interesting. I'm excited to see how those work. I'm assuming you should have probably triggered it before the night. 
So like right before midnight, because I think midnight's when the trigger goes through. So eh, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We definitely have to get more stuff in here, but right now we just can't afford it. Nice, congrats. Gambling with us, love it. Wait, why is his bladder going up? Oh, he has to pee? Or he has to sleep? I was, for a second I thought he was peeing in my casino. I was like, no, no, don't pee in my casino seats, please. Marketing, how's that going? Campaign. Guests gained from advertising, none. Great, love to see it. Love to see it. Let's hope this advertising actually does something. Right now it says it's doing nothing. So we do have 10 rooms sold, which isn't a bad number. Are these rooms being sold? Oh, I'm typing in the name. I was like, what the heck? Um, dude, look at the restaurant. It is packed. Did the restaurant make money yet? Could be our first day of actually making money. Woo! I'm in the restaurant. It is nice to see people actually eating here. The restaurant's cute. It's nothing to write home about, though. It's just a small little restaurant, but at least it does something. It's just a maintenance lady. It really doesn't do anything. Bartender just chilling. Bar makes us lose money. Casino makes us lose money. Restaurant, we're losing money. Like, this is the frustrating thing. They're all losing us money. It's so hard to, like, defend doing that and not just building more rooms. One runaway, one spring breaker. Oh, that's not bad. So, if it's 700 for the entire thing, which I think is what it is, the full campaign, two people cover around, I don't know, on the low side, 400. On the high side, they could do two of the big rooms at 1,200. So, I guess it makes sense to run campaigns. I don't know. Still trying to decide. Yeah, this casino just ain't doing the trick. I still just think we don't have enough people coming to the, uh, to the hotel right now. I really think it's a quantity problem and not a hotel quality problem at this point though this obviously obtaining a five-star resort with level of four stars so what we would need to do is build some expensive just building three-star rooms are running us 5k a pop so it will take us at least around 10 days if it's full occupancy to uh to make that money back so i don't know i don't know i think it's just once again, I think it's a numbers game. As many people as I can get in here as possible. So maybe it's worth just getting more low tier rooms. Because get 20 good reviews with 80% positive from the last 30 days with a level of four stars. So doesn't really impact if we have more one star rooms, in my opinion. I don't think. Though they were complaining about these rooms, but like... It's so much cheaper just to dupe these rooms and call it a day. So maybe we should just make like a crap ton of like two star rooms. A, we can probably sell this. This isn't necessary anymore. We could extend this hallway and build a couple two star rooms and see if that does the trick. Let's try it. How big is this? It is one. Well, no, no, no. I gotta like, I gotta count somehow. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, five. Five long? All right, five long, then back, then over, and we're just gonna duplicate these quickly. Then we're gonna build a corridor here. 
like so to reconnect everything. Everyone can walk through this area and get around. Boom. And then we can knock down this wall here and knock down that wall. Now we have two more rooms and a perfect corridor all the way around. Now everyone can get through the area. Next thing is duplicating this door here. Boom. Duplicate it again. Boom. And then we're just going to highlight this room and copy and paste it in a minute. I wonder how much one of these rooms is going to cost us. Well, let's let's place the bathroom first, and then we can find out how big is the bathroom. A three bathroom, I think. Well, I think that bathroom is messed up. Eh, maybe it's a three bathroom. Is it a three by three? Kind of looks like a square. Do a three by three. Perfect. All right, two three by three bathrooms. Love it. Let's just check out how that campaign ended up doing. Oh, it's actually brought us a lot of work. Okay, so definitely worth just running consistent campaigns, I think. These restaurants, the restaurant's bumping, dude. Making money yet? No, but it's bumping. Can't complain too much here. People are seeming to have a good time. I actually think we're finally gonna start becoming profitable. This bar is pointless, but we had to get it just to uh, upgrade, our, uh, upgrade our hotel to a four star, so. Might as well have it. Casino is losing us money too, though the dealer is kind of an expensive overhead. I'm going to grow into that, of course. Uh, let me just highlight this quickly. And then we can duplicate this again. And let's see how much that runs us. Pull X, dupe, and move over. Make sure it's well placed in here. Little, little two in, little two in, right there. I think that's perfect. All right, then exit. Can't access that because there's no door. That's fine. And that was only a thousand bucks. Oh my god, we should have just been doing this. Make as many of these rooms as we can, and like call it a day. So it's gonna be a bathroom. This is a bedroom. Bedroom. This is gonna be a bathroom. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna duplicate this door. We're gonna highlight all this. I grabbed the extra bed, don't need that. You heading out, dude? Be a man. Have fun, man. Big blue bug games going to Comic-Con, all right. Have fun. You guys don't know Big Blue Bug Gaming, he also has a full Hotel Magnate series on his channel. Feel free to go check it out. Show him some love there. Uh, you can go to my channels tab to go see it if you're interested. But he has the exactly same thing. Now the Hotel Magnate series, which is obviously a blast to watch and play. He goes about it differently than I do. So could be worth giving it a shot if that's what intrigues you. If Hotel Magnate is your cup of tea. Cool. All right. So we got two more rooms. We're now at 15 rooms. What I just need to do is duplicate this flooring real quick. No easy way to duplicate flooring. So I just have to find it again, which is slightly frustrating. Nope. Nope. Yes. Uh, this tile is easy. I always use the exactly same tile. Looks like this. And then the wall is a this. Bathroom is just, I think it, I, I usually stick with something like that. Oh, I messed it up. I accidentally did both rooms. Whoops, I daisy. Well, that was a waste. That was a waste of an extra 200 bucks. Well, now we got a couple more rooms there. Which also means more people. Woo! We are now at 12 people a day, which is just a good number. Let's go check out that campaign real quick. Look at all the people it brought in. Holy crap. Wow, I'm dumb. Why weren't we doing this the entire time, guys? What the heck was I thinking? What was I thinking not doing this the entire freaking time? Look at that. At least now we got a couple more two-star rooms, so that's good. I almost want to make this entire thing a four-star room and just charge the crap out of it. I think we're going to do it. Ah, uh, eh. I kind of want that to also be another facility.
We don't have a disco yet. We could make a disco. That's kind of fun. How much, uh, how hard is it to make a disco? Just need a dance floor. All right, well, let's get a couple dance floors because we're not going to do one and done here. Make sure it's centered. Gosh, I can't get in there. I know, guys, I know. One second, one second. Actually, let's duplicate this again. Same idea. Let's just make it an easy to flow through area here. What else is, is that it for disco? Really? That's the most boring disco I've ever seen. There's no like DJ that you need or anything? What else goes on the disco? There must be other, like, uh, oh, jukebox and stuff, maybe? I know you can get a jukebox. It's a two-star jukebox. That's a little too big. It's a four-star jukebox. Let's get one of those, I guess. The oldest-looking jukebox. It's not even a freaking jukebox. It's just a record player. Isn't that built into TVs? Why isn't that like a DJ or something? Like, what a boring freaking disco. That's that's what disco is. Okay. Oh. Okay. If you're having fun, you're having fun. I'm do whatever you want. I'm just like, it seems like the most boring thing I've ever seen. Um, how did that campaign end up doing? Campaign ended up running us two runaways, three spring breakers, a business guest, two executive guests, and a fancy vacationer. All right, and that is 0%. So we're going to deactivate and we're going to buy another one. What's this? All right, boom. Activate another one. Hopefully that gets us more money. up with all our facial piercings as well. Am we playing slots? Ooh. Oh, cool. First ever casino. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit escape there. We I mean, actually get her up to four stars and get her a new reception desk, I guess. If we want. It is a three star. How much is a new reception desk? Abilities. There's a vending machine. Uh, reception desk, reception desk, reception. That's a four star one. 5K. It's the most ugly looking reception desk I've ever seen. Let's put this in there. I feel like it kind of fits the aesthetic. Just kind of clicking on everything. I want to see what that's all about, man. Bunch of outdoor stuff, which I'm not going to use. Bunch of decor. A wall mirror? Wow, that's an expensive. What the heck is this? Ness is great. An absolute baller. Okay. Oh, free. I just don't know why you would. Oh, early access. These like exclusives. Oh. I'll throw them there on the wall. <laughs> yeah, we need to build some four star rooms soon. What are people currently rating us? I haven't looked too much. Ah, uh, we're down a bit. Okay.
How's our campaign going? Not well. Furniture exp I hate that. No, 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 no. Uh, room pricing's fine. Oh, well, look how much you can charge. A grand a night. Love it. Um, facility income. Wait, what? Facility income. Room income. No, this is... Oh, hold up. Yesterday's probably better. What? What's... Oh, that's stupid. So facility income is the amount that a room's making, you know, like like the casino or something. But the issue we have with the facility income is it doesn't take into account the staff necessary to run that facility. So a lot of these like facilities require two, three, four hundred dollars in staff just to run it. So if you consider that when you take into like the account the overall facility, we're losing money on like every facility. And it does show the number here on what we're losing. This lost three hundred and one dollars. This lost a lot more, two eighty seven. Um, I don't know if this is still losing money. Might not. One ninety. Then this is just an expensive room because we needed it for uh, for the restaurant. It has to be connected to the restaurant. So that's an expense that we can't uh, can't write off there. The only thing that's actually generating income right now is just rooms. So that's why I just keep saying we need more rooms. My mastermind plan would just be to have like 50 rooms, okay? And then these facilities would make sense. But where they don't make sense is when you don't have enough guests to occupy the facilities. It would be like having a five-star casino on a property that fits 10 people. Like in no case would that ever make sense financially. I think that's the issue we're running into across the board is that uh, not enough people to actually accommodate the expensive facilities that we've spent and the... Uh, Kind of the people we've invested in there's just not enough uh, not enough people all this expensive staff just for uh 10 people just isn't enough for 11 uh, literally 11 guests we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten staff members for 11 guests like one to one we're never going to make sense we have room to grow though like this facility has two uh housekeepers which is supposed to be for like future growth which makes sense like as we get more rooms i won't need to hire more housekeepers but the initial hiring was just uh, not smart at the time at which i did it and this casino is like unnecessarily large i kind of thought more people would use it but then i remember we don't have any people here I gotta keep reminding myself that this place is freaking like 10 of us. Okay, uh, thank you everyone so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Next episode, I think we're just gonna try and expand on as many rooms as we can to actually make these facilities popping. Uh, I'd like to build my first four-star room next episode. I don't know where that's gonna go. We're gonna have to play around, and I will eventually need to finish decorating everything. Eventually. We'll see. We will see. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will catch you all in a future episode. Thanks again. See you guys.